Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Owl of Asia. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Cebu and looking at if Cebu is a good place to live for foreigners. So today we're not going to drill down in the specifics, but we're going to go through a few different areas such as is it a good place to live? We'll also cover some pros and cons to life in Cebu. Most importantly, the cost of living as a foreigner in Cebu and also some extra information you need to know such as the traffic, the scams, driving, etc. So first First of all, is Cebu a good place to live? Cebu is a very diverse island. In the south, it's very famous for its whale sharks and its tourism, but there are also some beautiful beaches in the north of the island. And Cebu City just makes up a very small part of the island itself. So if you're not looking for a fast paced way of life, then you may be better suited on the outskirts or on one of the other parts of the island. One thing you'll discover when living in the Philippines is that even though many things are similar, different islands islands and different cities have their own unique personality. Cebu has a great personality. It's very modern, very upbeat, and it has a great homely feel. Additionally, Cebu is a hot spot for investment in the Philippines and more specifically real estate. Real estate has been one of the biggest investments in Cebu over the last five years. So of course as a foreigner life in Cebu has its pros and cons just like every other city in the world. So let's recap some potential pros and cons. So the potential pros are low cost of living, diverse island, beautiful beaches and wildlife especially in the north and south of the island, unique city life, great nightlife and entertainment, friendly locals and easily accessible to other islands. And some potential cons are, can be expensive in certain parts of the city. Some parts of the city can be slightly dirty, slightly less safe compared to other cities such as Davao. There have been several reports of scams that have targeted foreigners in Cebu. So what about the overall cost of living in Cebu for foreigners? Well, funny enough, I'm the writer of a financial and investment website in the Philippines called Filipino Wealth. So I'll make sure that I will add a link in the description below so you can check out the full cost of living for life in Cebu. However, as a summary, if you're a foreigner living in Cebu, you can live very comfortably on an average monthly cost ranging between $800 to $1,500. So what do you really need to know about life in Cebu? The first thing to know is the traffic in the city. So a lot of people who work in Cebu tend to work on the standard office time, which tends to be eight or nine in the morning and finish around about five or six in the evening and this can start to create a traffic problem. The government and transportation officials of Cebu are continuously looking at different methods and systems to implement to reduce the traffic in Cebu. The next thing to consider are scams. Now scams are very popular in the Philippines and if we're honest scams are popular all across the world. However there seems to be many different types of scams in the Philippines and specifically in Cebu. So scams are not always big and in your face. Sometimes they're very subtle and small and an example of this is a common scam that happens in Cebu especially in the bars and the clubs and that is not to give the person the correct change. But aside from this there are also many other types of scams such as the romance scam, the real estate scam, we also have the cryptocurrency scam and also other types of Ponzi scams. If you guys are interested in more information about scams in the Philippines please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that I do a video about this. The next thing to note is the development of Cebu. Cebu is a really beautiful beautiful city and overall it's a great place to live but coming in from other countries you may be slightly surprised about the developments in some parts of the city. So when we mention that some parts are dirty this doesn't necessarily mean any rubbish or any garbage even though that can be the case but sometimes it refers to unfinished construction work and also some abandoned areas. 